So starting off this Monday, we have back squat, and then we're gonna have a 20 minute EMOM. This EMOM is gonna be similar to one we did called lactic quads. It's gonna be, your score is gonna be by cows just like there, but this time your score is gonna be the total cows instead of the average of each round. Then the 27th, we have clean and jerk. It's gonna be a complex. What's gonna be unique after this is after your last set, after your third set, you're gonna do one drop set of max touch and go reps, and then you're gonna score that. Then the workout is a 16 minute AMRAP of dumbbell clean and jerks. We're actually gonna do single unders, so a lot of people will have a chance to RX it. The thing is, is we get so used to doing double unders that a lot of people can't even do single unders anymore. So you're gonna have prescribed single unders here and then some burpees. Then on the 28th, we're gonna have a bar muscle up skill EMOM, just like we had last week. And then a triplet of 21.15.9 of some pull-ups, row, and sit-ups. Then that brings us to Thursday, the 29th. We're gonna have another snatch on the minute. That percentage is going slightly up to 60, 68%. You'll notice from 65 to 68, that's not a big difference, but the point is there is I'm slightly increasing the intensity and I wanna make sure these reps are smooth and to depth. I am emphasizing this week though, touch and go on those reps. And then the workout is a 13 minute AMRAP with wall balls, ski, and we're actually gonna do wall ball overhead squats. So that's gonna be a wall ball overhead and squatting there. Then on Friday, we've got push press three by eight at 60%. Um, and then another drop set similar to the clean you're gonna do on your last set, one max rep set of handstand pushups. You can kip or go strict. Then the workout is four rounds of push jerk, handstand pushups, and then a buyout of wall walks. This is push jerk, not push press. So I wanna emphasize when we're getting up, we've gotta get under every time for it to count. Even if it's just a little knee bend, it's not a push press. Then that brings us to Monday. We're gonna have another bar muscle up skill mom, And then a workout, it's gonna be the rep scheme 10, 9, 8, all the way to one of chest to bar pull-ups and wall balls. Then that brings us to July 4th. We're gonna have a hero wad. There's gonna be no strength. This is going to be a longer workout. This workout is 30 clean and jerks, run a mile, 10 rope climbs, run a mile, and 100 burpees to celebrate the 4th of July. Then what we have is another snatchy mom. It's going from 68% to 72%, so still really minor changes, but that's because I'm emphasizing really getting under that weight, having good technique. So only going from 68 to 72 then a 25 minute AMRAP with 10 overhead squats, um, 20 deadlifts, 30 double unders, and some skiing. Then on Thursday, we're gonna have a piece that's a little different. Coach Kelly, Coach Kelly requested this. She wants us to all go over row technique, and then we're gonna do a five by five row. What I mean by that is you're gonna have five intervals to row, 500 meters. You're gonna rest as needed in between those. Your goal is to maintain the same pace or maybe slightly improve from round to round. Your score is gonna be the total time it takes you to do this, not counting rest time. So if each one takes me two minutes, then my score is gonna be 10 minutes, right? Not counting the rest in between. You can rest as long as you want. Goal is to be smooth and consistent here. Then that brings us to Friday. We're gonna have back squat four by eight at 60%. And then the workout is called Josh Bridges. It is a workout he wrote. I adjusted a little bit for class, but what it is, is five rounds of 15 uh, dumbbell deadlift burpees. So what that is, is you have dumbbells on the ground, you go down and do a burpee, then you stand up with the dumbbells. That's what that is, a little different there. And then just a short bike, a sprint, 10 and eight cows, and then 15 dumbbell front squats. So you're just gonna need those two dumbbells. Have those on the front rack position. And yeah, the RX is gonna be 50, 35, and RX plus 60, 40 on that. You wanna pick dumbbells that you can hold on to for most of the time, maybe break it up into two sets. If you're breaking up into three sets, it's probably too much. So yeah, that's what we have going on.